Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Zachary Wright from Valley Children's Healthcare. I'm going to talk to you today about concussions and how to recognize them. A concussion is an impact to the brain that can be caused by an impact or rapid movement of the head. Things like sports injuries, falls, or car accidents. These impacts are not always dramatic in appearance, and a concussion does not always result in loss of consciousness. It is also important to know that multiple small impacts can add up to cause symptoms or long-term brain injury. Signs and symptoms of concussion can range from smaller symptoms like sensitivity to light or sound, or mild impairments in concentration to more obvious symptoms like headache, vomiting, and blurry vision. When in doubt, see your doctor. It's important to give the brain a rest after a concussion for two reasons. The brain needs time to recover, which can take longer if your child is exercising or concentrating too strenuously, and we want to avoid second impact syndrome, which is when a similar or even smaller impact results in a much more severe injury if it happens before the brain has recovered from a concussion. Return to play and school is progressive. Children should not return to all of their activities at once and may take days, weeks, or even months depending on the severity of their concussions. Now that we know what a concussion is, let's go over to my friend Scott Saylor to talk about how to prevent them. Hi everyone, my name is Scott Saylor and I'm a professor of athletic training at California State University, Fresno. We've learned a lot about what a concussion is and how to recognize it. Now let's talk about prevention and preparation. Parents, caregivers, and coaches need to check with their league or school about concussion policies and protocols. It's also important to learn about concussion and how to recognize it. The CDC's Heads Up program has some great resources, or you can check out some resources at safekids.org. Insist on a culture of safety. Make sure the players wear approved and properly fitted protective equipment. Protective equipment should be maintained and should be worn consistently and correctly. Practice safe playing techniques and encourage athletes to follow the rules of play. It's important also to teach athletes that it's not okay to play with a concussion. Don't let your athlete convince you that they're just fine or that they can tough it out. Emphasize to athletes and parents that playing with a concussion is dangerous. Today, we've learned a lot about concussions and how to prevent them. The most important thing to remember is, when in doubt, sit them out. Fresno State is excited to partner with Safe Kids and Valley Children's to help keep your kids safe.